Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about multidimensional vectors. Now this is going to be one of the least favorite things that I'm teaching it mainly because it's an easy concept but it's a hard concept um, to grasp or it can seem scary at first right. Uh, so as we said vectors are like multidimensional arrays right so if we were to create a two dimensional array. Uh, we would say make it 10 by 10 and it'll have a fixed size, right? Uh, so we could say uh, temporary 0 and uh, we could set a value to 0, or 1, 2, 3, whatever, anything up to 9 and then we can increase this to 1 and do it and so on and so forth. So in this case we have a hundred possible options that we could do use using multidimensional arrays and if multidimensional arrays are confusing to you then this c tutorial isn't really going to help you with that so I suggest you learn that first and then come back to this tutorial. Anyways, uh, so to create a two-dimensional vector in uh, C++ is different and it's different for a reason, right? And I will explain this reason after. So we have to declare the vector like we normally do and normally after this we would put the type in this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to put another vector in there, then the type, and then we're going to close this off. So this is a two-dimensional uh, a two-dimensional vector, and it's done like this for a reason. Two-dimensional vectors do not work like uh, two-dimensional arrays. In this case, this is a vector of a vector, and I know that terminology probably just confused you, but allow me to dumb it down a bit. So notice that we have a vector of ints right here, right? So our std vector right here stores much like, you know how before uh, when I said that a vector can store anything, whatever, a class, whatever. So don't let this confuse you, right? If we can erase this right here, we would store the value int, right? And whatever, so we can store integer values in our vector. Instead of storing integer values in here, this vector this vector is storing a vector of ints, okay? So I just I want you to get that concept um, down down packed. So this is not storing an integer. This whole vector itself is storing a vector of integers. Okay, so what does that mean? So if we wanna if we were to call numbers dot pushback when we put an integer value, that wouldn't work. This parameter in pushback takes an integer type vector, right? That's what it takes in. It isn't taking a regular integer. It needs a vector of ints. So what does that mean? Let's create a vector of ints. So uh, we'll make it, and we'll call this temp vector. Okay. So now we have a vector of ints. So now let's let's uh, let's push back two elements. So let's say push back 20. My birthday's on the 20th of July and 10 just because I used to be that number when I played baseball. I like those numbers. Anyways, so we have 10 vector push back 20 and we have push back 10, right? So let's erase this right now. So just for clarity, if we call um, CL temp vector and zero, we would output the number 20, correct? And let's run this just to see if I'm lying or not. Okay, so we get the value 20, okay? And same thing if this was set to one, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say numbers.pushback, and we're gonna push back the temp vector, right? Because it takes a vector of type integers, right? So now this is the confusing part, because now what happens to it, we stored uh, some we stored a vector of ints in there, but what happened to it? Well, look at it this way. Remember, whenever we push back an element, it creates a new element in say an array or whatever, and uh, and from that uh, we store values within it. Okay, so think of it like this way. Okay, so let's think of it a temp array. Okay, this is going to be the numbers array, and this is the temp vector array. Okay, so once we called once we call temp vector push back and temp vector push back twice, right? Then we created two elements in this um this array section, right? 
And when we call the numbers that push back, we only call push back on numbers, right? So now we only have one element of numbers, right? So this is the same as basically saying in temporary numbers, oh, sorry, two and one. So what would happen? So in the, no, one, two, sorry. Cause we only have one element of numbers and we have two elements of temp vector. So if we wanted to access the number 20, what we would do is that we would be calling temporary zero one and zero zero, right? So it's the zero is the first uh, it's the first element in the numbers array and the first element in the temp vector array. So I know that's kind of sounds confusing, right? But once we Whenever we have a multi-dimensional vector, we have a vector of vectors. Remember that numbers that push back, whenever we push back a value, just like if we were to push back a regular integer value like 1, it only adds 1 to that actual vector, right? So numbers now has uh, as the first element, right? Now, if we want to get the second element, we get the actual value that we input it into our into our two-dimensional vector. So temp vector zero was equal to 20, right? So if we want to display the value 20, then we put in the value zero in there. So I'll put SCDC out and SCD end out, just to show you I'm not lying. So if we run this, we should get the value 20. So we get the value 20. So what if I want to access this value of 10 over here? The one we do is the first element in numbers and the second element in the temp vector, right? From this over here. So if we run this, well, we get the value 10. So let's, after this, okay, uh, we're going to say temp vector dot clear, okay? So I never taught you about that. Well, what that does is that it, it does exactly what it says is, clears the temp vector uh, so there's no elements in it so it will start from zero when we call um, push back it will start from zero again so we're gonna say push back um, 15 and we're gonna say temp vector sorry temp vector dot push back 25 okay and we're gonna call numbers dot push back and we're gonna put in another temp vector. Wow, it's hard to type on this new keyboard, sorry. Uh, temp vector. What's happening? Temp vector. Okay, so what we did now is that, remember, we when we call numbers dot push back, what it does is it adds a second element to our numbers vector, right? So now we have numbers zero and we have numbers one, okay? So in numbers zero, right, it stored the values 20 and 10, right? 20 was at the element zero and 10 was at the element one, okay? Now that we call temp vector, uh, we said clear and we added a value 15 and 25. When we say numbers dot push back temp vector, now we just created a new element. So that element is one. So if I were to call one zero, what it does is says the second element in the numbers array and the zero, the value zero, which is 15. So once we do this, we should get the, the value 15 to the screen. And then you see it, 15. So uh, one thing that I want to show you that it's a great thing about uh, multidimensional vectors too. With regular vectors, you have to have a fixed size like 10 by 10, 5 by 10, etc., etc., right? And each element has to match uh, equally, right? With uh, vectors, I can add as many as I want. So the first one only had uh, from, they had 0 and 1, right? Uh, when we had number zero, they only had values stored in zero and values stored in one right here. But in our second element, since so we have three things that we use in temp vector push back, we have a value in here. Va oh no, when we change the one, we have a value in here, value in there, and a value in here. So even if you don't want the same amount of values in each element of the array, you can store a different amount of values, and that increases for flexibility as as well. 
so I'm going to end the tutorial there. I know it's probably seemed confusing, but I hope you gained something from it. If you have a question, don't be afraid to post on my forum. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye.